Hey to everyone out there. I wanted to do a video here to explain why I don't monetize my YouTube channel and uh, how God can provide in amazing ways that uh, don't don't need these means. And so um, anyways, with, with YouTube, there's a certain amount of um, subscriptions and views that you need uh, in order to get your channel to the point of being able to be monetized. So it's like you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in a year. Dot, dot, dot. Otherwise, like you can't uh, even make money on YouTube. So it was a year ago when, you know, my channel overall compared to most channels out there is very small. But my channel finally a year ago hit that point. And so it rolls over into monetizing. So for about a month, my channel was monetizing and, you know, it's making like a few dollars or something. Not anything too impressive. Um, but just just one day I went I went to one of my so this is what was interesting though so YouTube is really strange that uh, before getting monetized actually YouTube now forces ads on everybody's videos or a whole bunch of my videos were getting ads put on them before I was able to be monetized now YouTube has a new policy where they can put ads on just all videos but um, my anyways when my channel hit that point then it just started to make generate some income you know. And so one day I just went to one of my videos and, and the ad that comes up was like straight up, not only, it was not just like a neutral ad, like on Oreos or something, but it was like demonic. It was like, hey, do you want your tarot card reading? And then there was a thing on the side that said, hey, do you want your, you know, angel reading and whatnot? I was like, that's messed up. Like, I'm literally like, my channel's making money, my, my gospel work channel is making money off of demonic things but even if it was was more neutral like oreos for example i, I just got thinking to myself like i'm literally i'm making money off of like the people's flesh uh being fed with all kinds of ads i have no control over what ad is going to be put in front of people and then but i even went god just started convicting me uh as the channel was monetized for a month it was just a whole bunch of conviction like like I couldn't even keep doing it. But uh, another thing God convicted me on is that um, if this if this channel is a gospel work, Jesus said, freely you perceive, not freely you'll give. Um, so making money off of the gospel, like it, it was just it just felt wrong to me. So, you know, if my channel were about, you know, like um, selling some product, then you know, then it's just like maybe Paul making tents where it would be fine to monetize it or to make some money off it if it was like a, just a, you know, a, a work. But when it's a gospel work, then it's got to be set apart. It's got to be different because so if you're making, I just felt for myself, if I'm making money off of this, then immediately people can bring my motives into question. People can be like, ah, is he really doing this because he loves people, loves God and loves people? Or is he doing it because, you know, there's some uh, money that's made off of the views. And to some degree, I believe that does happen with, uh, you know, Christian content makers. I believe there's a danger where um, you can start making content based on what will get the most views. Okay, so, you know, if I wanted to get a lot of views on a video, I could go and do like a, you know, an intense debate with somebody that really hates God. And yeah, it would, you know, generate lots of attention and excitement and it get lots of views. But is that really what God's heart is and desire is for people to be watching something like that? Is it actually reaching people? So anyways, there's a lot of uh, things that come up once money starts getting involved in the dynamic. Uh, so I could go on and on, but uh, scripturally, yeah, there's a bunch of verses. Uh, I talked about, you know, freely receive, freely give. But really, this is what I wanted to say is um, and, uh, a woman who speaks prophetically said this to me once. Do not do not merchandise the anointing is what, what she said to me. And that's just a really uh, quick way to summarize the whole thing. But uh, this is what's fascinating about the Holy Spirit is uh, there's imagery in the Bible of the Holy Spirit being a dove, right? There's all kind of imageries of the Holy Spirit. But one is that, you know, there's the fire, the wind, the water, but the oil, you know, but there's the dove. Okay. And uh, when Jesus is baptized, then the Holy Spirit comes upon him as a dove. And um, this is what's amazing is when, when Jesus goes and he uh, goes to the temple and there's all the temple, like the place where God's presence is, is, uh, is at that time, right? Uh, in the old, old covenant, God's presence is in the temple and Jesus goes there and there, 
they're uh, wheeling and dealing, and he says, you're making a, a den of thieves out of my uh, my temple. And uh, he, you know, pulls out a, a, a whip, and he's whipping them, and he's flipping tables, and he's just like, He's just like this is ridiculous because the people were buying and selling in the holy in the in the uh, courts of the temple, and, and this is a holy place. You don't treat it as a place of business. And so, one, what is fascinating though is that um, what, the main thing that was being sold, I believe it's in a, a few of the accounts. The 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 one thing that is in all the accounts is that uh, it was the buying and selling of, of the doves. Okay, the buying and selling of, of the dove in in the temple. And so, do not um, do not monetize the anointing of that dove of the Holy Spirit. Don't make a profit off of it. So God was convicting me all these things, and then I just def I turned off the monetizing on all of my videos. You know, after I made like three dollars and fifty cents off of uh, whatever amount of views and whatnot. So um, God just showed me turn off all that monetizing and watch what I'll do. God said, turn that off, all that off and watch what I'll do. So I just sat back, sat back. I was like, all right, God, I'm going to trust and obey you in this one. This channel's yours. And uh, let's see what you'll do, God. So, yeah, this, this is crazy. But like um, a month later, a month later, I was driving back from doing a discipleship training in up in Vernon. Uh, BC. And on the way back down, you know, I just I check... Uh, look at my phone and an email had come up that a man I've never met before, but he saw my YouTube channel, watched a few videos and uh, just saw the Lord at work and he wanted to support what God's doing and sends a gift, a donation of a, of a thousand dollars. And he says, is because I saw how God is working and uh, praise God, use this for ministry of the Lord. And I'm just like, wow, that is amazing. Thank you, God. And it was through the YouTube that this guy wanted to give. And so uh, this is, for me, how God really showed up. Because how many views would have I needed to make $1,000? I probably, if I would have monetized for a whole year, wouldn't have made that much money. They don't, you don't make much money off of monetizing. You need like millions of views to, I don't know how much monetizing you need for, uh, to, to make uh, $1,000. You probably need like millions and millions and millions of views of videos. So... Praise God when we uh, put his ways first and, and the gospel and every work of the gospel and God, I believe, should be given out for free. So um, whether when I release a hip hop, you know, a uh, Christian CD, I give it to people for free. You know, obviously they can give and donate, but it, uh, to offer everything of God for for free as much as possible. And and the Lord will bless this. So do not merchandise the anointing and uh, consider this in all the ways that Christians operate, especially in the Western world. You know, the, the conferences that are put on and they charge people $50. You know, how the poor are going to come to your conference? And it's like uh, charging for things, charging money. You know what? If you don't charge, just from my story that I told right here, if you don't charge or you don't monetize, then God is actually allowed to come through in way more powerful of ways than if you would have went down a worldly road. Ultimately, it's a worldly road, I believe, is when you uh, monetize the things of God, or the things that he's put on you and released out of you, when you monetize them, then it's um, going down a worldly road, and then God can't come through as powerfully as he would if you went down the strictly Holy Spirit road. So be blessed and consider these things as you minister of the Lord, and the body of Christ, I believe, needs to get this word. Do not merchandise the anointing.